Hello guys, dolls, and lady boys, shit talking, and me go together like the man in oppression, Ike for Tina, band, well, black folks for watermelon, which, by the way, I love watermelon and I'm hardly black. That stereotype is so wrong, but interestingly, one of my homies is black and doesn't like chicken. That, my friends, is weird. So I went to an all black school, and if you couldn't talk shit, or make the kids laugh, you would certainly get fucked with. There's one thing that stuck with me throughout all of these years after my Arlington Nights days, it's the shit talking. So imagine my excitement when I found out that we would be doing a top five on the biggest shit talkers of the sport. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Come on, come with me, come on. I know you wanna know, so I'm giving you that finger. Well, I'm giving you the come here finger, come hither finger. Number five is Prince Nassim Hamad. Nassim is a Brit who never really crossed over, so you probably don't know much about him if you know anything at all, unless you're a Brit. But Nassim was quite the little character and was known for his lavish walkouts and stirring up the controversy. Number four is James Tooney, who a lot of you have asked me about him, and I'm not the biggest fan of his. He lost to Peter twice in a row. Um, but he does know how to strip the drama and called out my lovely Clit brothers once by saying I want the Klitschko sisters next. And he talks mad trash, I'll give him that, but don't ever call out my Clit brothers again. Ever. I'll have Lorena Bobbitt on your ass. Number three is Floyd Money Mayweather. Floyd had to be on this list somewhere, anywhere. Probably you thought he was going to be number one. Wrong. Well, he's right here at number three. Floyd is fucking hilarious and his quotes will seriously have you in stitches laughing about whatever the hell he says for that day but what quote sticks out to me the most here goes when i retire i'll get ricky hatton to wash my clothes and cut camera just moved and cut is it gonna move again <laughs> should i keep going when i retire i'll get ricky hatton to wash my clothes cut my lawn and buckle my shoes that fight was seriously funny sorry i know you guys probably like him especially if you're in england but i can't stand him i know he's royalty over across the pond but damn Numero dos is mike tyson mike became feared for his mouth often more than his fist actually i take that back but dude has a mouth on him like nobody's business my favorite quote has to be the following let me just clear my thoughts clear my head of pretty much everything but thinking of fighting I'm there. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Enough said. Numero uno. Muhammad Ali, while may not scholastically the most intelligent person, his wit, humor, and street smarts clearly were the driving force behind all of the man's verbal smackdown. I can go over dozens of quotes that I love from the man, but oh, actually maybe I'll do a whole video on all the quotes I love of Ali. Maybe I'll do that. But anyhow, I'll only go over one uh, because simply this quote makes me pretty emotional that a man in his prime was trash talking to the one man who literally has the ability to change our whole lives in just a flash. And then his case he did. So what quote am I talking about that changed his lives and forever ours? If I want to die, I'll die right here, right now, fighting you. If I want to die, you my enemy, not no Chinese, no Viet Cong, no Japanese. You my opposer when I want freedom. You my opposer when I want justice. You my opposer when I want equality. Want me to go somewhere and fight for you? You won't even stand up for me for my right, right here in America. How could another man compete? Ollie said this to the biggest opponent ever, the U.S. government. And guess who won? Ollie, hands down. Right, so that was my top five list of the top five biggest shit talkers of the sport. Uh, what do you guys think about my list? Uh, let me know by commenting your thoughts below. And I will see you all tomorrow where I will be giving you all the latest updates on everything boxing, all the highlights, all the BS that's been going down this past week. Also... Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet to get all of my videos right on your YouTube homepage. All right, I will see you guys all tomorrow. God bless. Mwah.